Hello guys, Wuhu here, back in another video. This time around, guiding you through the Snowfest 2022. Yes, we are in the Snowfest season. Yes, hello, great, amazing. And there is a two-parter to this video. So there's part one, and all in this video, of course, but this is part one, and a little bit when you're done with the intro, right? But part one, and then part two. And if you go into your adventures, you can see here, also right here, I love that they did that. This is step number zero, basically. So you can't not start, I can actually also just show, it will just say this right up here instead. Uh, we'll of course have this showed because we need to do this one first. As you can see, complete all seven. It's just all seven of the snows. It doesn't really say steps, <laughs> but I guess uh, I did take, they call it adventures. So I, I'll just call them steps, but yeah. To unlock this one, so you do have to do this one first until you can get this one as well. I really like that they did that. There's a step zero. There's actually also step zero to this one, and many people don't know this, but you actually have to be mastery 10 to actually obtain these. So if you're not mastery 10, like level 10, right? These event quests is actually not gonna show up for you. So if you are starting out and you are below 10, mastery level 10, which is takes like two seconds to get, right? But there is actually a step zero to all of these quests, which is basically, again, you need to be mastery level 10. Then it will show up for this, but you do have to complete this first one to get all the seven steps for the next one. So we're gonna do that, of course, in two parts. In the description, there is timestamps to all of it, so you can skip ahead to which one you wanna watch. And also, before we do head into part number one of this one, I do want to say that the 14 days are back. The 14 days are back for gathering ores and all doing all that stuff. Also, of course, on Thursday, you can get three empowered gem boxes. And you can do that by just going into the hub, picking up the PvP quest over at the PvP hub down below. I've showed it in previous ones as well. I'm not going to go into details this time around. But you go to the PvP hub. Down there, there's a quest, you can pick that one up. If You can also pick up quests in, in different clubs and do that one, but that one is all, always available. And all you have to do for this one is to go into a PvP match and just get at least a level, uh, not level eight, but rank eight or whatever you call it, like the position placement of eight. At least you have to just gain one blast coin and that will complete the quest. And that will also complete Thursdays with the three empowered gym boxes that will also complete that one. So that's a little tip if you want to do the Thursday one, but make sure of course you do the Saturday ones because of the double XP potion. There's many ways to get the double XP potion, but this one is pretty simple. You just have to do one dungeon. That doesn't really take you very long and you can stack them up. And then when you want to do some, you can use a bunch of them, but yes, that was the intro. I just wanted to let you know that was two-parter and also about the 14 days of the mini daily ones that is also around. So anyways, right here we are going to have, a, uh, you know, step number one, but also part number one. So yeah, step number one coming up right here. All right, guys, so for step number one, we do have to go to the hub and talks to Elvesley, not Cubesley, but Elvesley, and he's over there at the big Christmas tree, but I don't know what happened to the hub. We had a very nice winter one. Now it's a little bit green. It does falling snow, but it's much more greener now than it was before, so I'm not really sure why it is like that, but it was very much more wintry before today's uh, you know event started, but you do have to go right over here, and we are going to talk to Elvesley and he doesn't like show he shows up like right like right here there's also the you know tables and donation and stuff like that but doesn't say like hey you can interact with this guy but all you have to do is just you know look at it look at him and then use your interact button like just like that and that's going to complete your step number one and we can now head into step number two all right guys for step number two we do just have to go to the table right next to cubesley as we just had and craft ourselves the gift givers standard that's a banner uh, all these materials here of course flux is what flux is right but all the other materials is just something you can get off the marketplace if you want to or you maybe just have them lying around as i have but if you don't have them you can actually go out and get them but you can also just get them off the marketplace there's not very many of them some of them might be a little bit expensive but overall it's it's pretty pretty uh, standard but all you have to do is just go ahead and craft that one and that's going to complete your step number two not really a big deal but all the materials as i said can get off the marketplace or for cheap prices or whatever but they're pretty easy you can also trade them with people that's what i'm saying so if you have a friend has a lot of them hey hit them up let them know that you need a little bit of that to craft yourself the banner so and that's step number two we can now head into step number three all right guys for step number three all we have to do is unwrap a gift and how do we unwrap a gift well what we do is that we equip our banner we just made 
Uh, yes, it has a different name, but that's sort of just a little bug because I had it equipped. As you can see right here, it's just a, a style that I have equipped, but it is that one. As you can see, there is the orange text, Swamp Time Spawns. Uh, as a gift and then you can open that gift when you do a dungeon or defeat enemies uh, It's just random when you are gonna get it and I'll do it right now with you guys But just let you know that it is this banner It just looks different because that have this style on so that's why it looks and also has a different name It's it's just that standard just letting you guys know that it's this and you can see that's you can see it's also different from the torch as well. So what we're gonna do right now is just do some dungeons and then we'll get one randomly and then we'll open it together. So yeah, let's just go through here and get ourselves some dungeons done. And there we go. As you can see now, we do have the two gifts right here. It's like I said, random. It took a little bit longer than I actually expected. I don't think it's, I don't want to say it's like, you do have to do a little bit, but I feel like you do have to do a little bit. You can get lucky, I guess, and also get on the, on the first try, but I feel like they're sort of like, don't want to give you the gifts, just like the first three dungeons or whatever, but you get your gifts and because you have the standard on, if you don't get the gifts, Make sure you have the you know the standard or the banner on if you're not. So let's go ahead and first you just have to go on wrap it. So all you do is just interact with it, accept it, say yes, I do want to accept that. So that's the first gift. Um, the other one disappeared because you know it was the time for it, and then you just have to go out there and get some more, and it'll get yourself the uh, Snowfest 2020 treasure. Let me just throw it up here. It's a little bit easier to see treasure chest, and you can see all the things that they are also. In there, all the stuff that is going to be there, you can also just save them up and open them all at the end. But yeah, these are what all these are things. And there's also some styles and all that stuff. But that was step number three. We can now head into step number four. All right, guys, for step number four, all we have to do is clear five present dungeons. So five of them we have to clear. You can see there's one in the background right there. There's also one over here. I do want to say I'm in the U11, U topside U11. So that's where you can find them, but you can find them all over the place, in different, uh, all different biomes. Also this year, it's the Forbidden Spires also has a present dungeon. So that's something new. The uh, Sunderling Uplands does not have it yet. Uh, so if you if you exclusively only running there, you might not see them, but they should be in all other biomes. We're talking in prime ones, not out here, of course, and out here, and also here. They might also be there. I don't know. I haven't checked it out, but usually it's not in there. But only all they said was that the, the Forbidden Spires was going to be where there's going to be presence also and now in those biomes. So with that said, all you have to do is do five dungeons. So just run around, do whatever dungeons come you come by and then just do them. I didn't do these because of the, I, the about the step, but it's more that I didn't want to give my gifts uh, in the previous step in this one. So it was like, you, meant like you had to do present dungeons to do or get gifts and stuff like that because they work just like regular dungeons there's nothing different with it really so yeah just wanted to let you guys know but i'm gonna go ahead and do my five and i'll see you guys in step number five all right guys for step number five all we have to do is clear three f three Three dungeons, that's very hard for me to say. Three, three dungeons. <laughs> These are basically big uh, dungeons, as you can see right here on the map. These are what they're gonna look like. And you know, they have all different themed through all of the trove and, but you do have to go to some of these prime worlds out here. I didn't find any in the deer top side, so I'm pretty sure you can only find them in these ones. And usually people are also very nice and say in the chat if they find themselves a tree dungeon. And the tree dungeons is just like the present dungeon, just that they have three layers to it. And you know, that's just how these works. And you just have to find three of them in some of the prime worlds and you are going to defeat all these. And then you are going to complete step number five and uh, 
it does of course with the last boss of these uh, i don't know if no if i really said that but yeah it's with the last boss as well so just go through it if you want to do so or just go for the you know the top boss the top guy and complete like that and that's gonna clear at least three of them and therefore you are going to clear step number five and we can end into step number six all right so for step number six we have to complete five daily quests and so we go back to the hub and did all oh, back to the same area as we was in before and we are going to pick up our five daily quests it is uh, make a snow fest donation so i'm going to go pick that one up it is also earn a only one dragon coin but if you complete if you get more than that it's also don't not too bad and then also complete the uh, snow fest tree dungeons and also right over here is also the present dungeon so i'm going to pick that one up as well and then lastly in a snow fight so let's go in here and just kind of talk about them real quick as you can see they're all in here so how do you complete you know this one for example make a snow fix donation the snowball fest is uh, fight is right here so you just go into that one um, did it just say participate or oh it just says get into so you just have to go in and then you can basically get out of it <laughs> then you have to do three of the present dungeons you have to get the dragon coin and then also do one a tree dungeon so that's not too terrible to do uh, a dragon coin you can actually get yourself this one i'm pretty sure if you buy it from here but i wouldn't recommend doing that i'm gonna do it for the video and buy it yes it did work so uh, i wouldn't recommend you guys doing that just use one of the challenges or just hold on to it for you know some of the challenges and something like that or you can also do some of the tomes whatever uh, there is of course the dragon tomes right here will also work in that sense as well but i did it for the video and yes it did work as well as you can see right here i did get the snow fest and because of that so if you're really in a hurry you can do that but it, this uh, 750 dragon coin deal whatever is really really not worth it at all so don't don't do that either you can also do one thing other than that you can actually something you can also do is to save up your lesser dragon caches or if you have greater ones for that matter but you can use these of course these contain of course flux but also dragon coins and these works as well pretty sure uh, you know i can't test it right now but i'm pretty sure that's also just how you obtain them doesn't really matter just as you get some dragon coins i think that's the only Thing there is with it so you can test that out if it works or doesn't work if you have some lying around as i have i just usually save them because i have a bunch of dragon coins anyways i don't really use them but that's another way to get them as well but yeah that is basically uh what you have to do oh the donation oh we have to do that one as well i've got to show you guys of course that is right next to right here there's a donation station right here and then you can donate whatever you want to some of them are good and some are pretty bad uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and do the one with this one this is not a best deal maybe i actually want to do some of the other ones uh maybe i'll actually go with the pearls actually i think i'm gonna go with the pearls i don't think this is the best one either uh, there might be some better ones but it really depends on what you want for that as well but i'm just gonna craft this one and that's gonna complete that one as well so as you can see i've done two daily quests right now so i'm gonna jump into uh, do one more tree dungeon some more present dungeons and then i'm gonna jump into the snowball fight the snowball fight is actually pretty fun uh it, it gets a little tedious <laughs> you know uh, in the 14 days but in the beginning it's pretty fun and i think it's great that they do that and only don't have to win it that's the most amazing thing as well it might also be these dailies also might work on thursdays i'm not sure but you can test it out if you want to but that's step number six i'll see you guys in step number seven all right guys so this is not step number seven i just wanted to mention this i tried to get into the snowball fest but it's bugged at the moment but you, you get actually sent to regular pvp matches but i just did the daily quest anyways because you just have to let it run its course basically just let it the timer run out then jump off and even jump off it works exactly the same because they're based on each other so it's still work so don't worry if you get sent into the regular pvp match it's just bug right now i think they'll fix it you know very soon but uh, don't worry you can still get your daily quest done you just have to do the regular pvp and i what i did was just and you jump basically i let the timer run out i jumped off and then i jumped off the edge and then i, I died basically as number nine and i still got it complete as you can see i'm three out of five right now so i just wanted to mention this don't worry i thought it was completely like you couldn't complete it but i tried and it just works so if you get sent into the regular pvp 
it will wor still work as of right now. You just have to use the portal that is right behind me over there to get into it. But uh, just wanted to let you guys know that before we head into step number seven. All right, guys, I got my dailies done. So now we are off a course on step number seven. And on step number seven, we have to donate again. And we, I just showed it in the last one, but I'm going to show it one more. You go over to the donation station and you donate something you can be anything you want uh, i'm gonna go ahead and do the pearls one more time so all you have to do is donate one more time and that's also going to give you one of these so surprises and also some other stuff but yeah that was uh, the part one of this so step number seven and yeah pretty simple but now we also unlock the second part of it so that's coming up right here for part number two all right, guys, it's part number two, step number one for the surfing snow fest. I guess we're surfing. I guess that's sort of more of a summer thing, but we, I guess we could do surfing on snow as well. But for step number one, all we have to do is craft some snowballs. And we do that over here after we have done the first part. If you haven't done the first part, just going to let you know, you have to do the first part as well. You know the steps to that one before you can get to this part, the part number two. So on the snow first table, you got these Sate snowballs. And I'm just going to go ahead and craft one because it says you have to have five snowballs, but you do get five with one craft. So let's see if it only a thousand or else it's five thousand. So I'm going to go ahead, craft once and it was. So it's only a thousand, uh, only a thousand glim you have to use to craft these one as well. There's going to be some fuzzy warm feelings later in the quest line and stuff like that. So we can craft some more of these, but these snowballs can be crafted for a thousand. You only need to do that one so far. So that is pretty nice. Uh, just for step number one in this part number two, again, do Part number one, if you haven't done that one. But yeah, that was step number one. Let's head into step number two. All right, so for step number two, we have to throw these snowballs in the treasure island. If you don't know what the treasure island is, it's basically the biome that has this, this little steering wheel on it. And you just have to go to that one. I am in uh, U11, but doesn't have to be that one. It's all over the place, basically. Not in the, the first worlds here, but some of the first ones. But most of them, it is here. So just find one that has one. Usually they're pretty easy to find. You can see there's more down here. People are going down here to, to throw some snowballs. And you can see I already throw, threw one because it says the Lost Islands. And it actually works here as well because the Treasure Islands is also something that is in there. But it does work. So just go here, throw some snowballs. Uh, I'm in a present dungeon, doesn't really matter. But yeah, as you can see, just throw some snowballs. Those snowballs you just had and you get some more snowballs for that one. But that's it. Just find the place with the with the steering wheel on it and be in that biome. Uh, make sure you are so as well. Look up here if it, it says that because you can't just be on the edge of it. But that it, that's it. Just be on, you know, throw some uh, snowballs and be in the biome. That's it for step number two. We can now head into step number three. All right, step number three. All we have to do is jump on our boat. I don't know if we have to physically jump on our boat but i think that what they mean is just get in the water and jump in your boat and as you can see there's a lot of water right here it doesn't have to be anything specifically just have to be in the water and i'm just gonna press g and i'm in my freaking boat here and that's gonna complete step number three not really much to it just jump in the water uh or any water for that matter and be and just you know hit that uh, boat key and then of course jump on your boat so that's gonna complete step number three pretty quickly and we get into step number four all right guys so for step number four we have to fi fish five fish but it actually doesn't have to be fish uh, as you can see right here i fished up an ancient boot because you can see i do not have any lures on so i wanted to test this if you could just like jump start fishing wherever you want i'm fishing inside a pool so of course you can also fish outside a pool doesn't really matter but the point is you can just fish up ancient boots and it's actually count as fish but i really don't feel like it should be a fish but as you can see right here fishing up an ancient boot right here you can see there it goes and two ancient boots and as you can see right here it counted as two so i'm gonna keep fishing right here and i'll see you guys in step number Five. All right, guys, for step number five, all we have to do is save some Horned Rift Rumpfrius. I think that's how you say it. But what we have to do, as you can see, I've done already one because I had to do a little bit of testing to see how this all works. But you do have to be in the treasure islands now. So I went to a drowned world, as you can see here. And that's also the biome with the steering wheel on it. But it does have to say treasure island. So below the water, if we go down here, there is some Horned monsters down here as you can see they're there and there's also one down there many 
around. You just go down and you use your snowballs on him. Throw it right there and it turns into this guy instead. And that is what you save it. Sometimes they attack you again. I'm just going to go ahead and do one more here. But all you have to do is just do that. Sometimes they do attack you afterwards and then you just defeat it basically. And this one... Uh, it also did teleport it, so that's great. Let me hit this one as well. Oh, these, oh, this one is attacking. See, you can take it, it's attacking. You just hit it until it basically goes away. And this one also wants to attack me, and sometimes it doesn't, but I'm going to get this one at four. Let me just do the five, fifth one as well for you guys. And there we hit it. And if you don't have any snowballs, you can go ahead and make more in the hub if you don't have one. But you should have from the previous steps as well. And I defeat this guy and I complete step number five. So yeah, this was step number five. Just go to one of these uh, below there, as you said, the treasure islands. As you can see, treasure islands. Then go to the you know, steering wheel and start defeating some of these. And they're all over the place. You can see there's more over there. And you can do that as well. So that was it. You know, that was step number five. We can now head into step number six. Six. All right, guys, for step number six, we are on the hub again, but it doesn't have to be here. You can do it wherever you want to, but you should have in your inventory after, uh, you know, collecting everything, you should have these warm, fuzzy feelings. And all you have to do is just use this one, as you can see, just use it, and then you uh, get a warm, fuzzy feeling as we do when we are all together. So I hope you guys together about this video as well, you know. But that completes this whole thing. I'm sorry if I was a little bit blabbery during the different step this time around. I'm I'm kind of dealing with a massive headache doing this, but I didn't want to, you know, postpone the video to tomorrow. I'd just rather work through it for you guys. But if I was a little bit over, all over the place, I'm so sorry because I'm kind of dealing with this a headache, but I'm going to go and lie down and, you know, or edit this video and then lie down and then probably is hopefully going to be much better. But hopefully you enjoyed it and it helped you in different aspects. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!